Uh, hey, everybody. Uh, we're here with another contest question. So this one came across my plate. 12 blocks are arranged as illustrated in the diagram. So you can see it up top. Each letter shown on the front of a block represents a number. The sum of the numbers of any four consecutive blocks is 25. Four consecutive blocks. And then we need to determine the value of B plus F plus K. Okay, let's jump in. Here we go. So let's take a look at that row of blocks up top. And we could kind of stumble our way through at the very beginning. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to like highlight four consecutive blocks. So say I took a look at just those first four. I know from the given problem that those four have to add up to 25. So I could start to just kind of like, you know, blindly write out an equation that those four have to equal 25. And pretty quickly then, I could see that since one of them is 4, the other 3 have to add to 21. Now, that doesn't get me very far. So maybe then I stumble the next part. And I say, well, it says that any 4 consecutive blocks have a sum of 25. So I could start to then write down that B plus C plus D plus E has to equal 25. Now, that seems to get me nowhere because I don't know any of those numbers except look up above. You'll notice I found out from the first four that whatever B plus C plus D is, whatever the individual values are, their sum is 25. So if I look in that red equation I built, I know that B plus C plus D has to equal 21 without even knowing what the individual values are. So if I then wrote that in, I then know that that 21 plus some number has to give me 25. And pretty quickly then I can see that that's 4. So if I just went up above and I wrote in, I just found out that the value of E was 4. I could start to do the same sort of thing as I move down that row of blocks. Like let's just say that I inched my way along. Well, I don't know if this blue is going to be that valuable to me. So maybe I just get rid of that blue and I'll get rid of all the red and the purple as well. But maybe what I can do is I can keep working my way down because if I take a look here, I see that I've got two of the numbers in there. So I start to be making some headway. Okay, what if I just get rid of that blue and then what I'm going to do, and I accidentally got rid of a little of my four, is I'm going to jump down to the far end of that row. And I'm going to highlight the last four. Because maybe I can walk my way back and do the same thing. I know that J plus K plus L plus 7 has to give me 25. And so J plus K plus L has to give me 18. And if I look at the four previous squares, so I just move one over to the left, then I also know that H plus J plus K plus L has to give me 25, and I can use that same patterning. J plus K plus L, I can see that expression in the red, and so if I sub that in, then I know that that has to give me 18. And so H has to be 7. Okay, there is a pretty methodical way, even though we're using inspection, to get down to the point that I also now know H is 7. We could have used some just reasoning on the fact that if one of those values was 7, then the previous 4... One of those has to be 7 because of the shared sum. But you can see it in the purple and the red, and I think that makes it a little clearer. 
Okay, why does that become helpful? Well, I'm just going to shrink this down a little bit. Now, if I come in to kind of that middle section, and I highlight those blues, I know three of the four numbers. And so now I can really pick up the pace. I know that E plus F plus 5 plus H has to give me 25, but I also know what E and F are. I know that E was 4, and I know that H was 7. And so if I go through and I take a peek at that, well, on the left side of that equal sign, I've got my 4 plus my 9 plus my 7. That's a 16, so something plus 16 has to give me 25. And if I shrink that down a touch more, I just found out that F was 9. And you could do that some reasoning. 4 plus 5 plus 7 plus what gets me up to uh, 25? That is a 9. So I'm just going to sneak in. That F is also 9. And now that I know those values, I can slowly work my way down the blocks to be able to come up with what the value of B and K are. So if I back it up, I now know that these four values have to add, and you can see me just boxing them in in yellow there, have to add to 25. And so I can slowly back my way up. What I have within that sum already is a 4 plus 9 plus 5. That's 18. So I can say D has to be 18 plus what to get me up to 25? There's my 7. Well, now that I know that D is 7, the sum of the three previous, 7 plus 4 plus 9, well, then there's a 20. Well, then I know that C has to give me 5. And then we can just continue that pattern as we go. Well, if C was a 5, well, then C, D, and E is 5 plus 7 plus 4. So that's a 12, 16. That means that B has to be 9. And so now as I work my way down that list, I know my B value. I know my F value. Uh, I still got to find my K. I can do the same thing going in that opposite direction. So I take a peek, and I'm going to use F, 5, and H. So I'm just going to box those in in orange. So I've got a 9 plus a 5, that's a 14, plus a 7 is a 21. Well, then I know that J has to be 4. And then 5 plus 7 is 12, plus 4 is 16, so I know K has to equal 9. Now that I know my K, I have everything I need. So therefore, I know that my B plus my F plus my K has to equal, well, B was 9, F was 9, and K was 9, and therefore, I get 27. There we go. Nice. Okay, I'm hoping that that was a nice direct way for us to stumble our way through that problem. Okay, keep up your problem solving. Best of luck.